Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sports Betting Truth reaction videos, and we're on the Sportsbook subreddit once again on the horrible, horrible, horrible website known as Reddit. Just a trash website run by trash, uh, censorship trash. But anyway, I still find some value in the Sportsbook subreddit to uh, make videos about. So today we're going to talk about Chaos Betting's post about sports betting tutorials. I might know a thing or two about that. So he says, has anybody ever seen or taken a course on sports betting? I know I've seen some books out there talking about situational spots and how to take advantage of early and late lines, etc. But I was wondering if there are any courses out there. So, wow, that's, that's a tough one. Um, I would not ever in a million years take any course related to sports betting even if it was free, but especially not if you had to pay for it, because any of the knowledge you're going to learn wouldn't be enough. Because in order to ever win money betting on sports, like in the long run, you're going to need to more like have years worth of like data science and statistical education, like at a college. Um, well, like, you know, a four year degree, but there's data science boot camps out there where you can learn a lot of good stuff in like 12 weeks, but those are expensive. I mean, you're going to have to pay a lot of money for that. Um, and anything that's free isn't going to be worth the salt because like I always say in this channel in regards to touts, and this applies to everything else, anything that's free given away for free generally has no value. So you can read books out there that are going to teach you the ins and outs in sports betting and like how markets work and various, you know, betting philosophies and stuff like that. But pretty much everything out there isn't going to help you win. Um, and I'm sure that's what chaos betting made this post for. He made this post because he's looking for tutorials to help him win. And I'm sorry, those things just don't exist. Like yours truly has made tutorials on this channel to help teach you how to use things like R and Excel and build tracking spreadsheets and some concepts in terms of basketball and football and baseball and stuff like that. But all of that is just general knowledge. It's not going to help you win per se. Um, it could be included in models to help give you a chance to win, like raise your chances from 0% to like 0.01%, but none of it's going to help you win. So any tutorials I would take would just be to learn things that you can read in, in books. Um, if you want to know which books I recommend, watch my video on sports betting books that I uploaded a few days ago. So reading the comments, uh, the top comment, which I agree with, I can give you a tutorial on how to lose your money. <laughs> Most of the tutorials you do find out there and videos and stuff like that and stuff you see on TV, like on Daily Wager and Fox Sports Live will do just that. It's going to help you lose. Um, Team Drock Shop says NBA in a nutshell. Um, a bunch of trash. So the top two comments are joke comments, as is usually the case on this website. So the third comment comes from user Ducks Fly Together 1988. All any tutorial is going to help you do is make your bankroll last longer, lose less money in the long run. You'll still lose in the long run, though. It's the equivalent of basic strategy in blackjack. You minimize the house edge, but the house edge still exists. I have a data science background. It's what I do for a living. I spent nearly 10 years building out sports betting models using my extensive, I can't help from laughing, I think you guys know where this is going, using my extensive array of mathematical knowledge. Even though I couldn't crack long-term profitability, I stuck with it because I enjoyed the statistical side of it, being a stat nerd, but eventually that got boring, combined with the, good, the fact good data sets are harder than ever to obtain. It just wasn't worth a headache anymore. The seasons I did profit, the profits were nearly not large enough to justify the hundreds of hours I spent building said models. Less than minimum wage for sure. <laughs> I think a lot of you are, uh, are starting to put two and two together at this point. If you're still okay with losing money in the long run, just at a slower rate, then there are some good books and videos out there. Stay away from anything that acts as a funnel to a tout or touting services or tells you do this to win as it is all trash. I've run a YouTube channel for three plus years now, if you haven't figured out by this point. Creating videos about sports betting, but I make sure my audience understands that everything I discuss will not make you a winner. It will just make your bankroll last longer and keep you more disciplined. I agree 100% with everything that person said. Everything that person said. Who is that person? I don't know who that person could be. Um, maybe that person is someone who's permanently banned from Reddit and is under a um, alt account that they created um, that has not been axed yet for ban evasion. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just speculating here. 
But I agree 100% with everything that person has said. And, and pretty much that is my response to what this person wants to know, is that every, any tutorial out there is going to make your bankroll last longer and lose less money in the long run. Um, that's the best case scenario. Um, if you really want to get serious about like becoming that 0.0001% of people who long-term profit on sports betting, you're really going to need a arsenal of statistical, mathematical, and data science knowledge to have a chance. Um, maybe not like PhD level or master's degree level of data science or statistics, but you're going to have to. You're going to need to know math. You're going to need to know at least one programming language. You're, need, you're going to need to know how to acquire data, um, a good data source that's complete, error-free, um, not missing anything. Uh, and th that's a lot to ask. And so um, a lot of people just don't have that knowledge, and a lot of people aren't willing to put in that level of effort. So really, there's no shortcuts here. There's no like tutorial you can take that will take like two or three hours out of your day. There's no book that you can read that's going to take like, you know, three or four days to read start to finish that's going to help you profit long term. It's really about the effort. And what I've learned is that the effort required to become that 0.001% of sports betting long term profitability people like the is not worth the squeeze like the best runs I've had with my models. Um, they were great runs, but the level of effort it took to get to that point and sustain that and maintain that model day in, day out. You know, I'm talking about my college basketball models, really. Um, it became a headache after a while. Um, I'd, I'd have to get up every morning and spend 30 minutes on daily maintenance. And th th that just became a grind after a while. And not only that, but that was just the day-to-day -day stuff. There would be times when the my data source would have an error or a bug, and I'd have to spend a few hours, you know, fixing my code to account for those bugs and fix all the data. It, it just it, it became a game of whack-a-mole almost with the data, and it just became a headache. And it was worth putting in all that effort when the model is doing well. But when the models aren't doing well, um, you just get to a point where you're like, what's what's the point? What's the point? I could be spending my time doing other things. So I'm kind of off on a tangent here, but basically ducks fly together in 1988. That person's comment is pretty much what I would have to say here. Anyway, um, that wraps it up for this video, Sports Betting Truth. Uh, conclusion of this video, there's really no tutorials out there that are going to help you win. Uh, maybe teach you the basics of sports betting, maybe some concepts, but nothing that's going to help you become a winner. Hope that makes sense, and that does it for this edition of Sports Betting Truth. Hopefully, uh, the sportsbook uh, subreddit on the horrible website known as Reddit can help give you more content because it seems like you guys tend to like these types of videos, and so do I. Uh, I feel like they are great conversation starters, and that's the hardest part about having a YouTube channel is finding out what exactly to talk about. But anyway, that wraps it up for this video. I'll see you guys later. This has been Sports Betting Truth. See ya!